everybody in this video I want to show you how we can rotate a graph in multiple dimensions before we get to the three-dimensional case I think it's important that we start with a two-dimensional case and for the for the two-dimensional case I like to start with start with a vector and we're going to call this let's say this vector has a radius of r and this vector from this horizontal axis has some angle which we'll call alpha our goal here is to rotate it by some angle for which we can call beta. So I want to draw another angle here. Call that beta. This line also this is this is the same vector rotated, and so that's why we can claim that that these two both both have what that radius are. And what this means for um uh, for, for our graphs is we're going to use this to define our X transformation and our Y transformation by decomposing this into their, their respective X and Y components. And so I will leave this up for a moment and, and uh, I'm going to click over here and that's, that's going to allow me to type in this box but but it will erase what you see on here. So the X component of what I just shown is is the cosine piece and so so our vector has a radius of R and we're starting with angle alpha and we are rotating it by by, uh, by beta. And for the Y component we don't need sliders for these. With well, Y components, instead of cosine, we're using sine. And it's a starting point, um, but what would help us is if we extend, well, we're not extending, we are rewriting these two pieces with their respective trigonometric identities and no I did not memorize these I looked them up so that you don't you know feel feel a need to memorize them and I'm just going to tell you what each of these are and so this is the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta minus r times sine of alpha times sine of beta and for the sine case this is the cosine of alpha times sine of beta plus r times sine of alpha times the cosine of beta. So now, now from here, so th these two are, are, um, are our transformed x-axis and what we know about this is that this r cosine alpha is is really our original x piece right so I'm gonna so maybe I should do a better job labeling these where these are transformed x this is the transformed y 
And this is our original X. This is our original X. This is our original Y. And this is our original Y. So now we can substitute these into, into a generic function. So let's define a function called called f of x. And 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 I don't have and for lack of a more interesting equation, we're gonna start with this one. So wherever we see a y, we replace it with with what you with uh, what you see on the y prime side, and and everywhere we see an x, we're going to replace it with what we see on the x prime. So now is a good time to add a slider so that this works, and this is rotated by one radians. And if you bring it bring it over to zero, you can see that these two align straight on. And and uh, if you adjust the slider, you can see it. You can see it rotating. So this is the derivation process for the two-dimensional scenario. If you have any questions on this, do ask them in the comments. And. And if you understood this, then we, we can move on to the three-dimensional case. All right, we are in 3D Desmos. And you can see here that I have to find a very simple 3D equation, x times y. Here's what it looks like. And I want to show you how you can rotate this equation on all three axes x, y, and z. If you are looking for an arbitrary axis, there is that case as well. Not the video for it. The, if there is enough interest, I will I will show you how, how you can do that. Look out for a poll for it. But for now, we'll just stick with the three. And my recommendation, if you're, if you're uh, doing this for the first time, which I imagine most of you watching this are, um, is to tackle two axes at a time and we hold the other one constant. And so what this does for us is it, it turns a 3D problem back into a 2D problem and, and it, is, it is a lot easier to work with that. And so we're gonna use the same strategy Right, so so we draw a vector. It's got some radius r, and it's 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 got some angle theta. And I'm not gonna walk through the whole process because what you'll come to find is is that this is the exact same motion as deriving. I'm the 2D case as if we just had this X and Y. And so what I'm going to do is, is copy the same transformations that, that we have derived in this case here. And I'm going to, I'm going to put it at the top for our reference. And the way you use this, right, in the case of rotating around the z-axis, it, it, it is a straight substitute into, into the x and y here. And so, so you put, instead of, instead of x, it is this value here. And instead of y, that is, we we put this value in here. Now, if we rotate beta, 
you can see that we are rotating along the z-axis. All right, the next axis that we're going to rotate on is the y-axis. I did choose that arbitrarily, and something that I do recommend is, um, is just aligning your view against the axis that you rotate around. It makes it easier to visualize where your horizontal axis is and where your vertical axis is. And so in this case, our vertical axis is the z-axis. And so, so um, everywhere we saw a y, we would instead replace that with, with, with a z value. Um, and, and also, uh, we don't need to do in this case, uh, our horizontal axis is still x, so there's no change in what we need to do there, and, and, uh, in that case we can actually use the x transformation here, but instead we're not affecting the y, we are affecting the z, and the y can stay the same. Don't worry, it's the same equation, just oriented differently. There we go. And something that I found is that um, at the clipping issues that that that, that we see with with, uh, with 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 these ends that I'm pointing at with my cursor, it makes it hard to tell if your rotation is actually working correctly. And so, um, so the so the equation that I recommend testing with is a a a parabola that has been revolved around the z-axis. So that that is x squared plus y squared. And so now, when you rotate it, you can see that if you go all the way around, so pi or negative pi, that's gonna get you the full 180. And, and if you go, oh, half of pi, that, 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 that gets you a full 90 degrees. Uh, and also some, something that I recommend is, is to rename it to the axis that, that, that we're that rotating on. So this is the Y rotation. So we're going to replace just all these betas with beta Y. And we definitely missed a spot, this one here. And finally, we we can do the X rotation. And this one we are, let's see, let's, let's do that alignment so that, that we know what we're affecting here. So for the z-axis, there's no change, though. Well, I wouldn't say exactly no change because um, we used to affect the x-axis, and now that new horizontal axis is our y. And this 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 was our vertical axis, so we're going to make the z. We do want a slider for this. And for the for the X transformation, we don't want anything in here. And for the Y transformation, is this one here, except instead of the X, that's a Y. Instead of this Y, that, that is a Z. So now if we make this zero, let's rotate this around so we can get a better view. So yeah, now this is rotating along the x-axis. Let's let's keep our good naming practice. Now I can see that we can move this independently of the y-axis rotation, and for for the z case. Well, um, don't, don't, don't use this one, you use the x times y, or just 
anything where anything where you will actually see a difference if you rotate or, or, around around your desired axis. So I want to save this as 3D rotations. I might already have a graph called that because I was experimenting with it. Okay. Um, I know we went through a lot. This graph here will be completely um, accessible. Uh, check the description for it. Um, this exact same setup will, will be there too. Um, and so if there's anything that they, they thought needed better explaining, more explaining, um, do, do let me know in the comments and or respond the best I could. And if you found this video to be helpful, uh, do leave a like on it, and if you want to see more videos like this, uh, do hit the subscribe. And certainly hope that you found this video beneficial, and I will see you in the next video.